clunking elements for the transmission of static forces. They act as linking and guide elements for simple sequences of movements, such as in the case of linear push-pull movements or axis offset compensation. Over years, a number of different clevis designs have become established on the market. Adherence to these standards ensures economic pricing, long-term availability of the parts, and wide-ranging sourcing possibilities. Spread design is the variant defined in DIN 71752 ISO 8140. The female thread and the slot with holes drilled on both sides ensure simple, versatile combination with other parts. Suitable if a larger distance has to be bridged due to design reasons, for example, for adjustments or settings. In cases, it retains its full functionality. Of the prongs also complies with DIN 71752 ISO 8140. With male thread is basically identical to the standard design described previously. The only difference is that a male thread is used. As all, this variant is particularly suitable when the clevis has to be joined to a part with a female thread. Suitable when adjustments need to be made in the area of the cross hole. Use of a clevis with elongated hole provides the extra space required for adjustments of this type. The clevises perform similar tasks to the clevis itself. The main difference lies in the connection possibilities. Consequently, even though the mating piece has a female thread just like the standard clevis, it differs considerably through the presence of a drilled stud. Thus, on the one hand, it can be used in the same way as a knuckle eye, while, on the other, it forms an ideal mating piece for the clevis and combines this to form a knee joint. If the standard parts are not able to meet the specified requirements, then there are many proven methods of optimization available. Variants are equipped with both right-hand, female, and male thread. It's a thread size to each standard part size. Alternatively, it's possible to apply a larger or smaller thread, provided that the part geometry of the component permits this. If required, it is also possible to manufacture a part with a metric left-hand thread. Conditions that need more precise or finer adjustments, the parts are designed with a fine thread with smaller pitch. Responds to the C-top RP102P. Thread type and pitch can all be combined with one another. of the slot on the part are defined by means of standards. Irrespective of these standards, it is also possible to provide a narrower, wider, or shorter variant, as long as the design permits this. The standard provides for a cross hole in the part. However, smaller or larger cross holes are also possible, provided that the geometry of the part permits this. A hardened cross hole increases the clevis's resistance to wear. The hardening process increases fatigue strength in the area around the cross hole. Clevis's service life, especially in aggressive and demanding applications. An additional thread on the shaft permits twist proof assembly. For purposes of the application, the clevis is also fixed using a threaded pin as per DIN 913 and DIN EN ISO 4026 and is therefore installed in a way that prevents twisting and rotation. Variants have also become established in the automotive industry in recent years. These possess a simple drilled hole instead of the thread. The advantage of this design lies in the rapid combination with the mating piece, because an automatic press fit can be established between the parts. However, this variant is only suitable for permanent connections. Fixed connection to the adjoining part. Simplest type of join is between the corresponding mating pieces via the female thread and the cross hole in the shaft. In this case, it's simply necessary to allow for a certain dimensional tolerance in the relevant mating piece. 
all such cases, the clevis is used as a clevis joint, i.e. it combined with other parts to form a fully functional joint or pivot joint. For practical purposes, an extensive modular system of standard parts is available and permits a wide range of capabilities for many different applications. The type of joint consists simply of a clevis and a corresponding folding spring bolt. One of the great advantages of this variant is that it is very simple to assemble and disassemble. The joint also generates very little noise due to the fixed connection between the parts. Runs to a combination of a clevis and a bolt with a pinhole together with a washer and retaining cotter pin. Choice of parts, it's possible to use this solution in very compact installation spaces. And this variant can also be supplied fully manufactured from stainless steel. However, it should be remembered that assembly is more demanding due to the number and properties of the individual parts. AKL joint consists of a clevis, a bolt with groove, and a KL retainer in order to fix the bolt in place. It's possible to mount the KL retainer either with or without a tool. In addition, the AKL joint can very easily be disassembled into its individual component parts. The KL retainer compensates for play. Alternative to the AKL joint, an SL retainer can also be used for fixing. It also compensates for play and is mounted and dismounted in a similar way to the KL retainer. One great advantage of the SL retainer is the plate that surrounds the end of the bolt and provides additional protection against axial detachment. Due to design reasons, the SL retainer can only be used at the end of the shaft. Once used in this variant, comprise a clevis, a bolt with one or optionally two grooves, and a corresponding number of retaining rings in accordance with DIN 471 in order to fix the bolt in place. Used to mount and dismount the part. The variant can also be supplied fully manufactured from stainless steel. Alternatively, a locking washer in accordance with DIN 6799 can be used for fixing. The ABS 6799 joint is also available fully manufactured from stainless steel. Its variant can be mounted with or without a tool. They are primarily used in applications involving the linear transmission of force. They are almost exclusively used as clevis joints. They are simple and almost always maintenance-free use. In addition, they excel due to the modular system of parts that permits a wide range of practical applications. This is transmitted by means of a pivot joint with precisely one degree of freedom. Clevis joints are also frequently used to compensate for play. Typical areas of application include the automotive and railway industry, agricultural and construction machinery, as well as machine and plant manufacturing. A long joint service life can be ensured by selecting the right material, steel or stainless steel, and the right design options for the relevant individual parts as already mentioned. In some cases, this can considerably reduce the risk of failure. Please contact us to discuss your own specific application. As a manufacturer, we would be delighted to advise you.